Hi, and welcome to Mark's Minis, where we have some exciting new content for you today. I am interviewing Michael Kleiman, who is a professional artist and judge at the painting competition at our local game convention, Kublacan. It's going to be a lot of fun, fascinating conversation. He's going to tell us a story about how he brought his family to a game convention, Kublacan, and what a great time they have. It's going to be a great story. You're going to love this. And we're going to talk about more exciting things coming down in the future for the channel and uh, more interesting people to meet. And uh, we're going to see the work of some awesome artists. And we're going to get the rundown of all the painting classes available to us at Kublacan and tips and tricks in general for uh, attending painting competitions and what we can expect from them. So please enjoy this special edition of Mark's Mini. And please watch through to the end where we have a fantastic wrap up and, and more exciting news about what's in store for the channel and what sort of new content you can expect. All kinds of exciting new projects. Uh Hi, thanks enjoy. so much viewers for uh, for checking out the channel. Um, I am really excited and honored and privileged today to have as my first interview guest uh, Michael Kleiman. Am I saying that right? Oh, perfect. That's right. Good job, yes. <laughs> so um, just real quick, how we met was uh, I attended your class on airbrushing in Redwood City at the Game Castle there and I had a really good That's time. Right. One of the funnest things I thought about was uh, I was under a little bit of pressure to keep changing colors and I thought it was a great exercise. I got, some, uh, got some tips on how to change colors uh, uh, more mm -hmm. rapidly with my air gun. And um, uh, uh, so um, then we started talking and then I mentioned I have a YouTube channel. So the quick, very quickly the thrust of the YouTube channel is uh, as a novice painter, uh, kind of unhappy with my results and I took armies to the game store and Man, the kids can be mean. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Those punks disrespected me, and I didn't like that. You know, I quit the hobby. Mm -hmm. I was out of the hobby for seven years, uh -huh. and then uh, you know, I finally started getting back into it. You know, I saw this Kickstarter, got a bunch of models, and I'm sure a lot of people have done that. They got a bunch of models from a Kickstarter. They're sitting on them, not happy with the results. What are you gonna do? Started researching. Oh, discovered speed paints, contrast paints, Express Colors just came out hey these are cool these are tools that really had a huge impact on me the beginning painter I started painting uh, fanatically I posted all my stuff on my Facebook group and they suggested start a channel uh, start broadcasting these discoveries and uh, let's just push all the speed painting stuff on the new painters it's having a big impact mm -hmm. so uh, so that's me so we started talking so uh, tell us a little bit just a little bit about yourself my friend how did we how did we get here to see you today where, what's your story? I mean, you mentioned you started with Dungeons and Dragons back in the day. It's like so many of us. Right. Yeah. So I played D and D in middle school, and then kind of like high school, college. You know, you know, my twenties. I didn't really do much. I was still always a fantasy nerd. Um, you know, I read uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, you know, in uh, fifth or sixth grade, I think, and I just it just kind of blew my mind and. Um, I've always just loved fantasy stuff. Um, so I didn't really do much hobby stuff um, until my 30s again when I was in grad school in San Diego. And all of a sudden in grad school, I was surrounded by all these nerds and we all decided to start playing D&D &D again. And then I decided uh, to paint figures for our for our group. And I just sort of, I kind of just really got into it uh, right away. I was in grad school, as I mentioned, in a linguistics program, and I kind of wasn't having a very great time there. It was, um, you know, I had some, you know, anyway, mentally it was, uh, or sort of a, uh, what's the word? I went anyway. through college too, you know, good yeah. days and bad days, been through that. Right, right. Yeah, and grad school is even more intense. Um, so, but the painting really helped sort of uh, manage my uh, my mental state, I think. Um and I really just fell in love with it then. And um, my first uh, thing that I painted was from a Reaper uh, Learn to Paint kit. And um, I was just really, I was just super excited. Uh, I just waited for it to come. And once it arrived, I had done all this research and I knew what I, exactly what I was gonna do. I did a wash and a dry brush on some chain mail. And it like, the wash just uh, drifted right into the crevices and the chain mail was sparkly. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Right, and so uh, just ever since then, I've been I've been doing it, and I love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that reminds me of the feeling I had when I started using speed paints. Right, and feathers and leathers, 
man, mm -hmm. instant, and they look good, and bam, right. they're ready to go for the table. So, uh, so uh, thanks so much for that. So, um, uh, so thanks, Michael, again uh, for joining us. Um, you have a lot of experience with the airbrush. Tell us a little bit about how you got started with the airbrush and uh, and what that did for you as far as oh, you know, how it affected your hobby, how it affected your 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 deal, your what what you do. Right. I'm not a huge, uh, like, I'm not super skilled with the airbrush. There are people who are much better with it than I am. I'm kind of a everyday airbrusher, I think. I've had a lot of really great um, instructors, too. So everything that I taught you, I was also taught. Um, so I'm kind of passing it along. Same that same as what you're going to do, I think. Gotcha. Um, so um, I took a really wonderful class with Caleb Wissenbach, mm -hmm. who is really an airbrush master. And also um, I took a class um, with Aaron Lovejoy, who is just a painting master altogether. Um, and so I just want to really kind of um, drop their names and shout out to them because they're the ones who taught me what I know. Sweet. Um, and uh, hopefully in the future I can get them in on interviews too, see what they're yeah, up to, yeah. uh, catch any tips from them. Uh, right. I, I had to uh, mention the airbrush thing again because um, the combination of airbrush and speed paints mm -hmm. unlocks a huge range of possibilities, especially for us new painters. So we really got right. a lot to do a lot of videos coming to explore all these new possibilities with the airbrush and speed paint combination. Also, right. oil paints. Oil paints and okay. speed paints combination is also very powerful. So, uh, lots right. to cover in the channel in the future. So, nice. um, uh, now we're going to talk about Kublicon. I'm really excited um, because you're talking about painting and the new, and the new processes and airbrush uh, classes. Uh, local game convention Kublicon in Burlingame, right? That's right, yeah. And uh, really excited about that. Um, what are the dates coming up now? I don't have that info in front of me. Um, it is uh, the end of May. It's Memorial Day weekend, so I think it's the 26th to the right. 29th or something right. like that. We have some time to prepare. It's coming on fast. Uh, it's also the right. 60th anniversary of the Doctor Who franchise. So there's going to be all kinds of interesting old cosplay and role-playing games and things uh, getting a Doctor Who spin. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. It's a lot of fun. I'm a big Doctor Who fan. Uh, I got a video coming up, a uh, big project for that uh, convention I want to do. And um, part of that, part of the convention is um, the, uh, the uh, painting, speed painting, and trick classes. Paint us a picture, Michael. Tell us what we can expect at, at KublaCon this year. Okay. So at KublaCon, we actually, uh, well, first of all, it's a kind of a mid sized uh, gaming um, convention. Mid sized means like 2,500 people, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's not as big as uh, you know Gen Con or something, but it's still a pretty uh, pretty large convention. You can always find fun stuff to do. We have a lot of uh, painting and hobby um, events that we're doing. Um, we call our um, events uh, Kubla Brush, um, and um, so we have a really huge paint intake where you can just come and grab a model that's been donated by one of our sponsors. Um, it's primed and ready to go. You sit down at a table with paints and brushes, and you uh, just relax and paint. That's one of our most popular um, uh, events. Um, we also have speed painting contests. Um, and so it's I think it's 10 to 12 people who sit down. They all get the same model, the same brush, the same paints, and they have 45 minutes to try to finish the model. Um, if you win first place in one of those, then you, um, you get a ticket, and you can attend the the Masters Speed Paint um, Contest, which will be on Sunday. And so, um, right, so yeah, that's a pretty fun thing. Um, we're also offering a lot of uh, hobby classes, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but another thing um, that we do is a painting competition. So the competition is really great. It's actually, uh, it's designed to um, appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. So we really want beginners to come in and start um, competing. I really think that my painting improved the most when I started competing. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a competitive person in general. Uh, I don't like competing in general, but the great thing about the way that uh, our um, contest is run is that it's on the open system, which is developed from what the uh, IPMS um, um, historical uh, Painting Society um, had put together before, and basically, um, you know, sort of traditionally, it would be the podium system where there would be gold, silver, bronze, and there would be three prizes, 
and everyone else would just be out of luck, right? But the open system through the IPMS uh, group is uh, um, basically there's gold, silver, and bronze, but you are not um, compared to each other. You're compared to a kind of a rubric or a standard. And so um, if there are 10 gold, if there are 10 models that are gold level, then there are 10 gold trophies. Wow. Um, and then, you know, silver and bronze and um, stuff so like that. That's very so, attractive to me because I definitely right. don't want to walk away with nothing. But if I can mm -hmm. walk away with uh, uh, a lot of insights and evaluation right. and a breakdown uh, and suggestions to improve my work and, right. and also a score that maybe I can try to beat myself, you know, next time, then exactly. that seems very fulfilling and, uh, you know, I, I won't feel like I've wasted my time. Exactly. Yeah. And we really, um, yeah, we really want beginners to come in. Uh, we're very beginner friendly in general. Um, we have three categories, actually. There's kids, journeymen, and masters. And so kids is 16 and under. Um, and that's, that's great. That's, uh, you know, judged in the same way, gold, silver, bronze among the kids. And then journeyman is kind of um, more for beginners, but there's also uh, bronze, silver, and gold in that um, category. Um, and so basically, if you are starting to get golds in the journeyman, that means maybe next year you should join the masters category. Wow. Um, and then um, in masters, also gold, silver, bronze. And then usually we award a best in show for the whole convention, and that's taken from the the painters who scored a gold in the master's category. So yeah, we have all different levels. Um, it's designed to be pretty beginner friendly um, in the journeyman. Um, really, we want to be encouraging, um, and we want uh, you know we want people to to paint, yeah. right? We want people to enjoy painting. Sounds like fun. one other thing that's really great is um, after, so we give the we have the award ceremony, and after that. Um, you can come and talk to the judges and get feedback, direct feedback from the judges on your piece and what you could have done better or, you know, things you can work on for next year. Awesome. So we're really about um, fostering growth and fostering, um, uh, you know, building your skills. Uh, cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to have to uh, to uh, just dive in because, uh, uh, like many of my viewers, I also subscribe to the channels of master and expert painters. and. Right. Um, uh, a lot of those uh, people are telling you just just compete, just do it, just get in there, do it. It's gonna uh, up your game, so uh, and it's gonna be fun. Sounds like, and uh, I know it's not gonna be a waste of time because I'll I'll definitely get something out of it. Right. So uh, that sounds good. Hoot. Now looking at my script here, uh, it says I should suggest that. Can you tell us a memorable moment or highlight, something that stands out, uh, a particular interesting event or fun? or uh, enlightening or epiphany that you might have had at KublaCon, something just to say, wow, this something happened at this convention that was really awesome. Remember okay, or... I think what I want to talk about is uh, my experience with my daughters. Ah, there we go. So um, my daughters are teenagers now, actually one's 19 and in college, and the other is uh, 15, learning how to drive, but um, both of them, not together, but at certain, t certain times, both of them at attended KublaCon with me. Right. Wow. And so um, when they were, you know, seven, eight years old, we would we would, like I went with my uh, older daughter and we played uh, D and D together and um, she hung out in the there's a kids room there um, and both of them entered the contest. Right. And um, actually uh, both of them got prizes. Right. You know, they got either a silver or a gold in the kids category. And um, it was just super fun to share that with them. Uh, we still have pictures of it and we still talk about it today they're not really painting anymore um it was more of a thing that we sort of did together they did because i did you know how kids are yeah um but I, it was just know, a really um fabulous experience so. i just have to butt in i did share a few gaming moments with my son before he got a job and got so busy wow. and then college and then you know but uh, there was a time where we were both painting and we were both playing at the same time and i treasured those moments that was awesome so, right. uh, so if, if, if any families out there, you got a chance to do that at KublaCon, just, just, just go for it. It's going to be a hoot, and your memories will last a lifetime. All right, good done. Also, so, um, one more thing about KublaCon related to that is that KublaCon is super family friendly. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, there's a kids room where you sign your kid in, and there are people there watching over the kids, and there are board games they can, um, they can just grab, and there's other activities that are happening all the time. Um, there's all there's lots of kids walking around, um, 
and it's just kind of a safe environment, you know, uh, family friendly totally. Yeah. So yeah, that, um, I really huge. recommend you bring your kids. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, 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 a really awesome suggestion for family activity. Bring to a game convention and uh, and have some fun. All righty then. So um, moving along, let us promote now. Um, well, we promoted the come up the uh, CoupleCon pretty good. Um, we want to promote some of the classes inside the CoupleCon now. Uh, right. Uh, you have some documents, I think, uh, we want to share. You want to put it? Okay. So I'm going to share my screen here. Mm -hmm. um, and this is sort of the preliminary uh, schedule for painting event, painting classes oh, at uh, KublaCon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, you can see uh, these prices actually are not uh, correct, um, but we have um, several uh, artists coming um, that are really great. Um, actually, all of them are great. And um, yeah, so we, I just kind of wanted to show the fact that we have uh, lots of different kinds of um, Classes and lots of um, instructors that are going to kind of focus on different things. Cool. I'll um, have so, to work my schedule so that I can work at least one of these guys in here. Um, um, a quick interview uh, at the convention would be would be a hoot. I can definitely post those. That would be great, and we would appreciate that too. You know, we we actually are talking about wanting to get more um, more video out there about mm -hmm. Kubicon, so yeah, and uh, I would definitely like to get uh, more viewers on the channel. That would be, so, um, we would be interested in that, too. So, uh, so we'd be happy uh, to, to help you out with that. That's good for everybody. Yeah, that's good for right. everybody, especially new painters right. that are dragging their feet. They got a lot of unpainted miniatures. Uh, this is the place to be. And KubelCon is, is a place to uh, uh, share your uh, share your talents, get new talents, and uh, just uh, enjoy the hobby to, to the max. Right. Um, Let me, uh, I have some uh, pages uh, loaded up here mm -hmm. to share with you. So this is the KublaCon webpage. Mm -hmm. um, this is just KublaCon.com. It's easy to find. Um, this is our uh, Kubla Brush website. Um, this is not uh, updated for this year yet, but you can kind of see, you can kind of see. Oh, um, I haven't even seen this yet. Right. Kubla Brush. All right. Very good. So the yeah, these are our sponsors. Um, oh, some excellent. of them are different this year. This we haven't updated it yet. It's still some of our instructors. These are from last year, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, just so you know, um, that's um, the um, that's the website uh, address, and that'll we'll uh, we'll apply that. It's kind of a little bit less yes, uh, well, easy World to remember. Day weekend. So anybody in the San Francisco Bay Area, or even if you're as far south as the LA area, you might think about coming up. Yeah, uh, a lot of all over California. One. Right. Mm -hmm. um, this is another. Uh, this is our Facebook page. Um, uh, so you can connect with us on Facebook. Uh, we've been already uh, promoting some. We're kind of um, starting to gear up uh, to talk more about what's happening this year. And uh, first thing we're doing is um, showing some work from uh, from last year. Oh, Last excellent. Year's excellent. This is great. This is great uh, content here. And mm -hmm. uh, when hopefully we get this video uh, posted, we can uh, get a link on this page. It would be awesome. Definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just in um, Facebook, you can also just um, search for Kubla Brush Awards and it should be easy to find. Um, this is our Instagram page. Um, so some of the same content here. Um, these three are from this year and these are from last year. Um, but you can you can definitely see that, oh, um, and then I have um, some face sorry Instagram pages of um, some of the artists who are going to be teaching. Oh great! So this is David Powell. He's actually teaching also um, at Nova Open. Mm -hmm. um, he's an amazing painter. He's local to that to um, the Bay Area. Oh, um, his style is just super smooth and. Um, Really high contrast and yeah. just really beautiful. He's really an amazing artist. Um, so you can see some of his work. Very nice. Um, this is the same figure. Maybe let's uh, look at some of his other stuff. Oh, man. Skin tones are awesome. Yeah, his, he's really well known for his skin tones. He has a really interesting uh, um, process for doing that. So this is David Powell, and he'll be there. He's teaching. Actually, he's going to teach a class um, on um, – he's going to teach how to paint a large-scale figure like this. So it's a four-hour class, and part of the class um, – part of the cost of the class 
So he's going to give you um, a figure from a company called Big Child Creatives. It's a mm -hmm. 72, 72 millimeter figure. Um, yes, I've heard of Kind it. of similar size to this. Mm -hmm. They keep showing That's really great. on a lot of the uh, YouTube channels with the uh, expert and master painters uh, showing off their skills. Uh, they seem to be getting uh, more and more popular. Yeah. Big Child Creatives. Yes, mm -hmm. they're actually a really amazing company. Mm -hmm. um, this is another uh, great artist um, who's going to be here with us. His name is um, Chris Spots. So he's um, in uh, Instagram under the Spotted Painter. Mm -hmm. um, he is he's wow. really great, too. Um, he was talking about how he went to a convention, took a class with another artist. Mm -hmm. As a student, he took the class. Um, they worked on textures and stuff. Uh, in the class, and then he finished up the figure and entered this into the contest and got gold. Wow. Right? <laughs> he's actually <laughs> super fast. He's really knowledgeable. He's um, he's actually going to teach a class on speed painting. Um, so uh, Chris is just, he's a really great guy. All these actually are really great people. All right. Uh, and um, I see yeah. I've got to up my game, sir. Well, this is all master's level <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Right. This is all master's level stuff. So I can show you um, some stuff uh, from um, the journeyman level if you want. But these are the these are this the people crazy. who are going to be teaching classes. Right. So this is what you want to see from someone who's teaching. This is crazy. And I have to point out that, um, you know, like many of my viewers, uh, we all subscribe to the YouTube channels of expert and master uh, painters. And right. um when it comes to the new materials, the speed paints that we've been talking about, speed paint, contrast paint, and the new express paints, um, a lot of these artists, uh, they they touched on them. You know, they maybe give a review, they give some tests, but by and large, what I'm seeing is they sort of moved on already. It, they thought of it as a curiosity, and and I can understand that. You know, at this point in their skill level, maybe they're they're just not really interested in in what they can do. But for the beginner, the impact is huge. So what I want to see eventually in the future is someone with some real talent like this, what they can do with these new materials. You know, what happens when they start experimenting with the speed paint medium and they're doing some shading or some glazing? You know, how can they unlock more capabilities, mm -hmm. right? So, right. Um, uh, but it comes back to me. You know, I want to up my game. I want to improve my skills. I want to see how far I can drive the new materials to get me to as close to this this point as I can get. So right. it's a long journey and um, that's part of the attraction of the being on the channel is we're going to grow together. We're going to start with our speed paints and our zenithal and mm -hmm. we're going to work our way up eventually to this. Yep, that's a great way to start um, really and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I use contrast paints myself, um, mm -hmm. uh, especially for gaming level models, but even, you know, some of it will show up on my competition models too. There's, it's great for certain things. Yeah, um, we have a lot to talk about in the future because um, some, some paints are very good at covering and some paints are very good at staining what's under them. Right. And, uh, and if you've got a good value sketch, a good zenithal, just staining that uh, and retaining all the information without covering it can give you some nice effects without taking a lot of skill, which is definitely the type of thing we're interested in this channel. I just want to say, uh, you know, thanks to our viewers again for, for watching us uh, up to this point. I'm really excited about KublaCon. Real excited about the upcoming uh, projects related to KublaCon, um, taking some video at KublaCon, uh, and um, also interviewing more artists. Uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, he's going to introduce me some of his artist friends. We're going to get him on the channel, get him some interviews, and uh, I think that's fun content. We all want to hear uh, from the uh, the pro painters and get some tips and tricks uh, as much as we can. So, right. um, so thanks again for uh, for joining me. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Looking forward to more in the future, and yes. look forward to see you at KubelCon. And um, I'm doing my best to get in that painting competition. It'll it'll be a great experience for you. You should definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks again. Take okay. care, fans, and uh, and bye bye. Thanks so much for staying with us to the end. Remember what Michael said about KublaCon, Berlin Game, May twenty sixth to twenty ninth. Great convention. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, remember what he said about being a family event. There's that narrow window of time. 
when you and your kids share the same hobby. Don't miss out. It's going to be gone like that and then you'll never get that chance again. So if your kids are able and ready to go to a convention, bring them to this one. There are so many exciting new projects and new videos coming down the pipe. We are going to get game convention coverage. Uh, a local hobby store has asked us to do an on-site speed painting. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be entering the speed competition at KublaCon. That's going to be a lot of fun. And more speed painting uh, tutorials weekly and more shorts. If you think this content is valuable to you, please let me know by subscribing. Thanks so much and look forward to seeing you next time.